Alright guys, so, um, this blower rack could totally be used on an open trailer. Um, I would just, you know, you don't need to make the little piece of plywood that's going to be on the back of it, like to put on the wall, and you don't need that thing to brace it, the brace that you'll see me make <clears throat> in this video clip. You don't need the brace that you're going to see me make. You Basically, you just need that bottom, bottom carriage part, and you need... Um, you just need the bottom carriage part and then like kind of what you're starting to see here and put your piece plot on the bottom and then you could put two little loops um, screw them to the, the two 2x4s two on both sides and have like a bungee running over it through the gas can you know just to hold it down to the to your little carriage and you could just bolt your rack right on the rail of the trailer you know through the plywood once you get plywood on the bottom and it could totally work as a blower rack you know, if you have a bungee running, up, you know, through the handle. Yeah, like, you know, and put like a little anchor back into it. Oh, I was trying to listen to my Bible plan while I was doing this. So I was doing that. Um, and so like, you know, you could just have this bottom part and it could totally work on an open trailer. But um, it would actually be easier to make for open trailer because what you're starting to see now is basically like the only thing you would need. Um, and then you just have two loops, you know, two uh, um, anchors or whatever you like to call them, little hooks that thread in on both, uh, in the two two by fours and put an open trailer. Also, now I would probably use, I think a one by four would be more optimum for this because it would not be as heavy, the rack itself, which it wasn't that heavy anyway, but it would, it would save a little bit more, um, it would save a little bit more weight in that respect, and it would be even a little more slender to the wall. Um, but, you know, I had two by fours laying around from other projects, other things that I've made and stuff like that. So, hey, I used it, and it's working pretty good. I'm going to put this little piece on the back and get it all screwed, and it'll, you know, and that strengthens it up, you know, when it's screwed to the wall. Having all that, you know, really makes it strong. So, all right. All right, boys, y'all check it out. What do you think? I think, I think it looks pretty sweet. What do you think? And the top V there. Check it out. So, I got this, and this will, you know, brace it. This braces it so that, you know, so it won't, when it's hanging on the wall, it won't push this down. You know, because without this brace, I'm not sure. It might would still work, but I want to leave this side open. I plan on putting it in the trailer, like the back of the trailer is here. Well, you know, I'll put it in the trailer like a foot or something. But let's say the back of the trailer is here. And that way it'll always... I think, actually... Wow. I thought when I made this that it would only have to face it only one way, but... I guess you can face either way you want. So... What do you think? I say, uh, let's go put it in the trailer. Going to uh, put it in like this. And then put one screw in. And then underneath the bottom here, where I made some marks, uh, Right there, there, and there. And so I'm a little bit above them, but then I can just uh, kind of, you know, since I put the screw in the middle, see what I mean? I can just kind of split the difference here. So that way, you know, it'll be really close to straight. Because if you put it in the middle, you know, you can still seesaw it this way. So that's really close. Doesn't have to be 100% perfect. You know, I'm gonna take a measure it off here. 19. Actually, yeah, it's not gonna be totally close, but it'll be pretty close. Alright, pretty happy with that. 
We'll put a couple more screws in. Alright boys, what do you think? It's looking good. Let's try it. Yeah. So, what I did is I just took six screws, boom, 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 and see this plate, this uh, plywood plate, so you got two pieces of plywood here together, and it spreads the weight out all around this piece of plywood. Um, yeah, so it's pretty strong. We'll see. I don't see that going anywhere. I really don't. And, uh, you know, it's kind of above the tire of my mower. Definitely above the deck. So it's really no problem getting out of in and out of here. Even though I only have a six-foot trailer, it'll be no problem because it's almost above the tire. And it's for sure above the deck. So the deck can go boom, right underneath. Um, so, wow. I love it. I love it, guys. More organized. See, so usually, you know, I put the the uh, gas cans up in the front shelf but um you know as y'all know throughout the day of mowing you end up just setting the gas can here or there and it kind of you know it slides around as you drive and all those kind of things and so man i love it so you can just you be more organized you got your gas right there and i left a little slack in here because i know they'll swell and contract a little bit um the gas cans but yeah man i love it i love it i love it you can make it it's easy it's cheap just some scrap pieces of wood i already had so one of the awesome things about an enclosed trailer let's set this down and make sure i can get the blower off easily you know what i mean You see, and I was just being, I was trying to just be like fairly careless with it, like just throwing it on or off. And, uh, you know, I got plenty of space in between there. I got, I don't know, probably six inches or so. As long as I don't drop it down on it, you know, which I shouldn't. I never had, I never do. Never dropped it, so. Yeah, boys. Organization is key. Don't even like how this cone is here. I even thought about putting the gas here because I, I put my blower right there um and because like the bottom trimmer is close to the mower like in my little six foot trailer it's really kind of gets in your way and so i put my hedge trimmers up there fold them back and then you know i just run two trimmers here um and i can spread these out farther apart you know um when i don't have the hedge trimmer on it because hedge trimmer will only let you have it you know so long anyway i'll do a set of video talking about where i put my shovel and everything else and all this stuff so anyway yeah hope y'all are doing great that concludes this video see ya